to another video. Today I'm going to be making churro cheesecake bars. And my ingredients are one egg, two crescent rolls, two packages of cream cheese. We're gonna need some sugar. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the spray on my pan. We're gonna need some vanilla. And instead of making my own cinnamon sugar mixture, if you can find one of these that is already mixed, it's gonna say it's going to save you so much time. So, um, and then we're just gonna need a baking pan, a nine by 13. So let's get started. Okay, so what I did so far was I put my two cream cheese blocks in here and we're just going to mix this all up. in here I'm gonna mix it one more time okay and then I'm gonna add a cup of sugar my one egg and we're gonna need a tablespoon a teaspoon whatever I always just do a cup full of that, just my measurement of vanilla. And then we're going to mix. You just wanna have that um, creamy consistency. If you want, you can take your spoon or spatula and you just, you know, mix it all together. Make sure everything's nice and incorporated. Make sure there's no lumps. It's nice and smooth. And there you go. Okay, so if you haven't already, I already turned my oven on to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna take, shake this and spray my pan. Because you don't want anything to stick. And I'm gonna shake my sugar and cinnamon. This is a brand new pack, so I have to open it up. I'm just going to taste a little bit. Yep. So we're just gonna sprinkle some on the bottom. Of the pan. Make sure you try to do it evenly. And see my kids, they like it extra cinnamon and sugary, so just make sure you get enough on there. Yeah, that should be good. What we're gonna do next is pop um, the crescent rose. So what I did was just put a foil here. Um, woo! <laughs> All right, my thing didn't pop. All right, let's see. Sorry, it's taking a little bit long. Oh no. It's okay, we're, we will connect it. No worries. Okay. 
I just use the aluminum foil so that it's just easier to do so that, see, if I would have put this on there right away, it would have got all messed up. So you just want to pinch everything together until it comes out together like that. Any uh, spots that are missing dough, you kind of just form it together. Okay. Let's see. Stuff out the way. I could bring my pan over here. it back together okay and I got it in my pan so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put the cream cheese mixture in the middle if you um, want your cream cheese to be thicker you can use three um, cream cheeses but I usually always just do two I was going to also tell you guys that um, I've been making this for a really long time and I didn't know this was called, uh, also called a churro cheesecake bar because this is also called something else like, I don't know how to pronounce it, sopa, sopa delia or something like that. <laughs> Sorry guys, if I mispronounce it, I can never pronounce it. But yeah, I've been making this like a long time ago and then like, I guess the tweak in this is too, is you can use um, cream, like condensed milk um, to make this a little extra tastier, sweeter, if you want to. But I'm just gonna make mine like this because I always made mine like this. Sometimes I add sour cream you can add sour cream to it, but um, I just did whatever I had in my refrigerator. So you just wanna make a nice little layer, nice even layer. And then what we're gonna do next is pop the other one open and put it on top. Okay, I kinda got it on here, but it's kind of a challenge putting these on top perfectly. It really is. Because <clears throat> they're so sticky. So you just kind of want to seal everything together as much as possible. And my oven is already um, heated through to 350 because it beeped earlier. You guys don't have to worry about it looking perfectly. Just make sure your seams are closed in. And wipe this cream cheese off. <clears throat> And then what you're gonna wanna do is spread your cinnamon on top. It's up to your preference. My family likes sweet, sweet, so. I'm gonna do sweet, sweet. Okay, let's 
spread it around a little bit. We add a little bit more over here. Again, like I said, if you can find this bottle, girl, saves you more time. All right, so let's pop it in the oven for 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and I just pulled this out of the oven. And what we're gonna do is let this sit for a little bit so that it can cool and settle before we start cutting it. Okay guys, so I have my, cheap, my um, churro cheesecake bars cooling for a little bit. So I'm gonna cut. Okay, I'm trying to cut it off. Perfect. You guys see that? The cream cheese. Look at that. Okay, and what you can do to make it extra special is use caramel syrup. Make sure it's over. Right. And there you guys go, churro cheesecake bars. <laughs> so let me give it a little try. I'm just gonna cut a little piece because I'm not really in a sweet tooth mood right now, but mmm, it tastes so good. The cream cheese, so creamy. With the caramel glaze and the cinnamon, so yummy. So, so, so yummy. It's really good in the caramel just gives it a little extra sweetness to it. Actually, I'm gonna have another bite. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, so good. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe. Go subscribe. Give me a like, share, and thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.